use of computer hardware and software in education and training dates back to the early 1940s, when American researchers developed flight simulators, which used analog computers to generate simulated onboard data. Now young students are growing up with learning software, educational games, and internet-based learning materials. Many schools supply hardware like iPads to their students for the purpose of accessing online learning software. Uh, there are lots of different techniques um, for learning, uh, but one of the key ones is first students um, working with worked examples and then sort of progressing from worked examples to um, to being able to do problems more on their on their own this is something I've done a number of studies with and it's shown to, you know to be beneficial to students also that students explain what they're doing self-explanation is an effect in learning that um, makes a big difference and that's another one that I've looked at what I found was really interesting was uh, kind of the interplay between all the different disciplines that go into developing intelligent games that people can learn from. Uh, you have AI, your cognitive psych psychology, uh, and your learning psychology all kind of wrapped in there. And it's, it's a really interesting uh, mix of disciplines there.